opening coming up straight away on your screens. For the Nifty, we are at about 22,820. The Sensex is flat. We are in the red, 75,043. So uh, quiet is the word, I guess, uh, at least as we begin uh, today's session. So 10 points, 7 points, that's it. Bank Nifty on your screen, 160 down, 49,140 on the Nifty Bank. Mid-cap index is a little better. Uh, we've got some gain, some green, 0.17. Uh, and I think you've got the small cap index, which is also uh, looking a little higher. Uh, so what, a third of a percent up, 60 points uh, is what we have. So 25 down on the Nifty as far as the opening rates are uh, concerned. Uh, so uh, that's the, uh, those are the indices. But it's all about stocks, uh, guys. Yeah, so what's pulling the Nifty down? Well, a couple of uh, banks, Indusind Bank is down by about a percent or so, SBI is down half a percent, ICIC is down half a percent. So banks definitely not off to a great start. Then there are other names like ITC on the lower side of the screen. Some of the names like Ultratech Cement, JSW Steel, also starting out on the uh, on the lower side, Hindalco. So basically, a lot of metal stocks are weak, uh, seeing some weakness in banks. Those are the early trends that are coming in. Bharti, Airtel, LNT, you know, big boys are not really adding up today. Most of them on the downside. Let's see what's working. IT is working for sure. Wipro on that uh, you know big deal that they have signed up, up about three three and a half percent. Buying actually in the sector that started yesterday afternoon in the last one hour that continues this morning. It's not just Wipro. Look at uh, Tech Mahindra, LTI, Mindtree, Infosys, TCS. I guess it's another run to safety. So the first run to safety was FMCG. And then FMCG kind of fell off the radar yesterday. Uh, and now it's all about IT. And that's where the buyers are congregating. It's I mean, entirely an IT-driven move. Bajaj Finance deserves a mention. They are going ahead, of course, with the IPO of the housing finance subsidiary. About half a percent up on that stock. Some buying on Lever, some buying on Sipla. Nifty's in the red, down by about 20 points. So, a fairly cautious start. Well, that's right. I think we had Garden Reach. Uh, you know, order is what they have bagged. So, that stock, in fact, is up close to 3.5%. One of the big uh, winners today. A few other top volume movers in the first two minutes. DB Realty, stock is up close to 3%. Good move you're seeing out there. Heritage Foods, well, in a world of its own, promoted by Mr. Naidu. Uh, you know, and family. So that one's up 50% for this week itself. Today as well, it's up close to 3%. But I think from the first tick, it's come off a little bit. So just keep an eye out on that stock. Another top volume mover today is SCPC. That's up close to around 3.5%. HCC is another top volume mover. In the first minute itself, actually, the volumes are rather high, more than 30 lakh shares on both the exchanges. So keep an eye out on that one. Hoodco is up close to around 2%. A couple of more stocks that are moving around. You have Suslon that's down close to around a percent and a half. IOB is down close to around a percent. I think the screen, the headline index is flattish, but from the broader markets, plenty of stocks doing a thing of their own, Prashant. I don't know what's happening with Google does exports. Uh, that's starting 7% lower, 8% lower. I don't know if there was a new, any news flow, uh, but uh, it's been languishing for a while. Uh, but it's, it's a sharp cut uh, coming through on Google does. It's not very much volumes, mind you, so keep that in mind. Uh, but that is uh, sort of, but not small volumes as well for this point in the day. So keep an eye. Well, apart from that, it's, I mean, broadly uh, decent market breadth. Three and a half is to one is the market breadth right now. Uh, 1,500 stocks are higher, some 500 stocks, just under 500 stocks are lower uh, at this point. So uh, Wipro is the biggest volume-led gainer right now. So three and a half percent higher on Wipro. Uh, CoForge will come up on your screen. That's up about 4%. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, you know, at uh, 5,400, 5,410. Garden Reach Shipbuilders, I think we mentioned that, 5% higher, 1,362. NCC, and I was talking about this KNR and the likes, uh, they're all doing well. K NCC is about 322. Uno Minda had a uh, sort of, you know, big day, 13% higher, at six today. So stocks at about 1,030. We had the management with us after the tie up uh, on the EV side for technology. Five Star, the microfinance company, 8%, 8.5%. Uh, not the microfinance actually, but a lender, NBFC, but uh, focused on the very uh, sort of, uh, you know, lower end of the economic strata. Eight and a half uh, higher, 840. So the big move coming in on five star. Some of these MFIs have done well recently as well. So names like the highest quality one there is credit access, but even others are starting to pick up a little bit. Loda, that is macro tech, is up four and a half percent. Sobha developers is another one. Dev so real estate is there. I mean, eight percent, eight and a half percent on Sobha. Uh, KCP, Nigel has been talking about this one last last few days. 6% uh, on KCP, 232, 233 on this one. Uh, Tourism Finance Corporation, I, I saw a move yesterday. It's up another 5% right now. Uh, you know, 
and uh, Uno, so, Minda, may I add? Remember yeah, I just mentioned. Move? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. After Uno, that, eighteen percent yesterday, another seven, seven. Another and seven, seven and a half odd percent. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, market likes that. Mm-hmm. Tata Chemicals is down three uh, percent. Stocks at about thousand and thirty-four. Uh, and on the downside, REC starts lower, PFC is down a little bit, but nothing very large. HAL is down 1%. So a bit of cooling off, a little bit of pullback after the you know very strong activity we saw over the last uh, two days now. From the lows of Tuesday, we've seen sharp pullbacks.